Hi guys! Welcome to another video of Prime Struck Builders and on today's episode, I'm gonna show you a detailed walkthrough of this gorgeous looking house standing behind me. Tara! This is a two-story, three-bedroom residential project. This is one of our recently done. Kung gusto nyo malaman yung total floor and lot area niya, please stay with me for the rest of the video. No, medyo malaki siyang tinitignan. To start with, dito sa labas, dito sa exterior, ang concept ng ating architect is uh, modern tropical design. So, tamang-tama lang yung balance ng wood and stoneworks elements. By the way, our designers are GK Architects. You can search them out on Facebook as well. You can like and follow their page to see their designs. And you can message them for inquiries. Tara, pasok naman tayo sa loob. So in front of me is a one car garage that can fit small to medium size car. Kasha naman dito yung mga SUV and pickup. That way over there is yung uh, ating service area. Mamaya papakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung itsura dito sa service area and ano yung purpose niya. And dito naman, dito sa pasad, makikita nyo ang design natin are not just false design. Yung mga design elements natin. Nakikita nyo up close talagang real stoneworks sila and then yung wood planks natin ay real wood planks. Okay? Tara, pasok tayo sa loob. So this is the living room. This is a 20 square meters living room. Kaya makikita nyo dito sa interior natin, what the client want is uh, modern Scandinavian design. Kaya we really stick to three colors lang. White, gray, and yung light wood elements. And makikita nyo, ito yung TV console. It's a, it's a modular cabinet. Mamaya, explain ko anong difference ng modular cabinet dun sa regular ones. Kaya makikita nyo, ito sobrang pulido niya. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo, terno na yung mga ternong terno yung mga furnitures na pinili niya dun sa design na gusto niya, yung modern Scandinavian. Kaya sa amin, it's really important that we collaborate and communicate well with our clients para talagang makuha niya yung ina-envision niya dun sa bahay niya, di ba? Dito naman, sa dining area, this size is 13 square meters para may idea kayo. Makikita nyo, medyo bulky na yung mga ginamit niya furnitures pero kasha pa rin. And makikita nyo yung mga design elements natin, very minimalist lang kasi yun yung gusto ng client talaga. Pero kahit na minimalist lang, is nandun pa rin, may dating pa rin. And kung makikita nyo dito, meron tayong secret storage area. Pupush mo lang to and ayun, meron ka ng spacious enough na storage area. Okay. So tara, punta naman tayo sa kitchen. So ito, we have this louver designs here. So ang purpose nito, hindi lang siya basta design, no? It serves an, uh, as a separation between the, the living room and the kitchen. Para pagpasok po dun sa entrance door, hindi agad kita yung kitchen area mo or yung nagluluto dito if it's a little bit messy here, di ba? Pero hindi rin namin siya ginawang super close na pader kasi para nandun pa rin yung open uh, concept ng bahay. Dito, this is the full granite laminated nook. It is very lightweight but yet very durable. So, ano nga ba yung difference ng modular cabinet do sa regular cabinet? So, ang regular cabinet, di ba, paint finish yan or varnish minsan. This one is laminated finish. So, laminated yan. Tapos yung edging yan, meron tayong PVC edging. So, hindi rin basta-basta yung paggawa ng mga to kasi talaga sobrang pulido. At uh, iba ang klase yung workmanship ang ginagamit sa mga modular kitchen. Pati dito sa loob, it's full laminated, mas madaling linisin. Hindi siya nag-wear off, nag-tear off, hindi siya nag-fade. And yun, uh, it is stuffed with solid white granite. Backsplash natin, meron tayong granite tiles and wood tiles na terno sa ating wood laminate dito sa ating countertop. So, ang kinagandahan ng modular cabinet, you have a lot of designs to choose from, a lot of finish to choose from. May mga wood laminates, meron tayong mga solid colors laminate, may mga textures laminates. Kaya pa-design kayo sa amin, talagang uh, pag binigay namin yung swatches ng mga laminates, talaga magsasawa kayo, kakapili ng options. At ang kagandahan pa, mas marami kang uh, customized na magagawa. Like here, meron tayong mga pull-out na ito. Uh, utensils tray, pull-out wire basket, yan dito yung mga baso, dito yung mga uh, plato, and these are stainless steel, so hindi sila nangangalawang. Okay. At dito, meron din tayong pull-out spice rack. So, hindi nyo, so pag nagluluto kayo, hindi 
hindi na kailangan nakalatag pa dyan lahat ng mga spices mo. So, kung luluto ka dito, kuha ka lang and you can easily bring them back para mas organized, di ba? So, you have a lot of room here. You have a lot of spaces to choose from, di ba? At lahat ito, lahat ng enclosures natin are smooth and soft closed, di ba? Kaya hindi sila mabagsak, bagsak lang ng basta-basta. Alright? And meron pa tayong isang feature dito before I forgot. Meron tayo ditong uh, secret pull-out pantry. You can store your snacks here, mga food na hindi na kailangan ni ref. So, di ba, mas organized silang tinitingnan. Right. So, yun. Is, uh, yun yung difference ng modular cabinet sa regular cabinets. May achieve mo talaga yung showroom quality finish that most people love. So yun, if ever na gusto nyo paggawa, interested kayo paggawa ng modular cabinet, kitchen, gusto nyo pa-renovate yung mga kitchen nyo, not just the kitchen, pwede rin yung mga TV console na nasabi ko kanina. Don't hesitate to message us dito sa page natin. Message lang kayo at uh, we can have a quotation for you. Okay? And syempre, dito sa baba, meron din tayong bathroom. This is a in-suite toilet and bath. It is uh, complete with shower enclosures finished with wood and subway tiles. So, kung kita nyo pati dito, umamit tayo ng modular cabinet top with granite countertop. Kita nyo talaga smooth ang finish. Alright? So, punta naman tayo sa taas. As you can see, Itong stairs natin, hindi siya yung typical na diretso lang. It creates an illusion na parang malaki siya, di ba? Kaya kahit saan ka mapunta dito sa bahay, kahit na maliit lang siya, there's so much creative things to talk about. Alright. And I said, as. Kita nyo, this is not your typical railing, pero safe pa rin. Di ba? And punta naman tayo sa ating first bedroom. Bedroom number one. So, this is just a standard bedroom. It is in a size of 8 square meters. So, makikita nyo, ito yung cabinet is modular as well. Sliding siya. And, ayun. Smooth pa rin. Diba? Yung bedroom sa kabila is just a mirror one. So, parang same na same lang sila, pati sa size. Talagang mirror lang sila. Ayan. Diba? Dito sa taas, meron din tayong shared bathroom. So as you can see, halos same concept. nag lang kami ng shape ng ating lavatory. This one is bigger lang compared dun sa baba. Kasi yung sa baba is 3.6 square meters and this is around 4 square meters. Alright? So punta naman tayo sa ating master's bedroom. The last one. Okay, this is the master's bedroom. This is a 22 square meters master's bedroom including the walk-in closet right there. So, it is spacious enough, not too big and not too small. Yung dito sa labong family with the kids, okay lang. Makita nyo dito sa ating walking closet, ang laki ng mong cabinet. And it just slides over here. And there's a lot of room for your stuffs in here. So, ang daming drawers. These are all smooth finish. And dito, you can store your long clothes. Kapag masasampay mo sila dito. It is pretty decent space. And ito naman, it's your small vanity area. Right? Kung makikita nyo dito, ang ganda nito kasi pag may kumakatok sa labas, you know, mag makikita mo agad kung sino yung mga bisita mo. So, lalo na ito yung master's area. So, di ba? We have this gray wall here to add a little accent. Pero not too much. Kasi... Pangit naman nung masyado maraming design, no? masyado nagka-clutter sa design. Kaya talaga very minimalist pa rin. We, we really stayed pa rin dun sa mga colors na gusto nila based dun sa design na gusto nila. Alright? And, syempre, balik tayo sa baba. Pakita naman natin yung mga exterior features ng bahay na to. Alright? Balik tayo sa kitchen area. O papansin nyo, this door right here leads to our service area. So, this is the service area. Meron kang sink right here. And it can serve as your dirty kitchen as well. And kung makikita nyo, this one is 
leading to the garage. So, kung kanina, galing tayo kanina, for example, from your car, may mga dala kang pamalingke, groceries, you can go straight right here. Papunta sa ating uh, dirty kitchen or sa kitchen para ipasok yung mga groceries. Hindi mo na kailangan pumasok pa dun sa main door and dumaan pa sa living area, di ba? Dito, meron ding laundry area. Sakto lang din yung size niya for your washing machine and your washing area. And this way is leading to your lanai area. Tara. Ito nyo, press ko lang. Diba? And this is the lanai area. Ito say 7 square meters na lanai area. And kita nyo kanina, katapat niya yung dining area. You can have your visitors here, your guests over here, out lang sa barkada, or you can have your coffee here in the morning. Napaka presko. And look at this landscape. Balik tayo sa harap to wrap it up. So, recap! So, this house, meron siyang tatlong bedrooms. Dalawang standard bedrooms and one master's bedroom. Meron tayong dalawang toilet and bath. Isa sa taas, isa sa baba. Full modular kitchen, the night area, and service area. And one car garage. And the floor area of this house is just 134 square meters. And the lot area is 150 square meters corner lot. It looks and feels spacious than its numbers, kaya thanks to our designers. So that ends our full detailed walkthrough of this project. So for your building and construction needs, don't hesitate to message us here sa ating FB page. And please uh, like and follow this page as well para updated kayo sa ating mga ongoing and uh, upcoming projects. I can't wait to see you guys sa ating mga next video. And malay mo! property muna or dream house muna ang ating next na EV feature. Once again, I'm Kyle of Prime Truck Builders. Until the next video, thank you for watching.